Jackson County defeated Hampton 58-38 in Wednesday's Class A quarterfinals, but the bigger victory may have been taking place on the sidelines, where sophomore Savannah Wright was cheerleading as she battled through Kenya. It was really important that I got to come today. I wanted to do it so bad, and I begged my doctor to do it so I could come and cheer the girls on because I knew it was important. And I didn't like want to make it about me because like, I wanted them to do well. But I was so excited to come and cheer. I love it so much. No, no, it makes no, me no, happy no, to no, cheer. No. When I'm cheering, it felt like everything was right in the world just for a little while. Diagnosed in October, Savannah has been in and out of the hospital since. She is currently in remission but will continue chemotherapy treatments for the next two years. Clearly it was as important to Savannah's schoolmates to have her back as it was to her to be back. It means everything that she could come out and cheer for. Kind of limit them on the perimeter. Sorry again, I'm not sure what to do. McKenzie kind of um, shut things down. Inside. Whenever I heard that she could come out, for the most part, we did that. I, I thought we made some mistakes in the second was, half. That they we were all so happy. We were all just. We didn't think we should have gotten red. Uh, uh, we were pretty solid in the first half. When we heard that, and then, um, we, got, uh, we were jumping for joy at practice. We were so happy. Madison on uh, it means Friday. I mean, it looks like that's good. With the win, Jackson County faces Madison Academic in Friday's 1 o'clock semifinal game. From Murfreesboro for the Tennessean, I'm Maurice Patton.